I'm Greg Zanis, inventor of DreamCar123.com. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the water underneath the transportation system. If you take a look at this painting here, you'll see the 33-story building that we talked about that we had the architect statement on. You'll also note that this is the Sears Tower in Chicago, and this is a conceptual painting of a 169-story pyramid building. Also, you'll note that the building is in Lake Michigan. It's not on land anymore. This is for a lot of obvious reasons. One of them is that we it's new land that we can start building on. What you see here is fresh water. Now, I want to take the fresh water and bring it into my tunnel system where the car itself would be riding over two concrete piers that would be taking fresh water from Lake Michigan to every destination in the painting series. If you note over here, these next four paintings are in the series of New Chicago. What you see is several cities up and down the Fox River and theoretically the Chicago perimeter again where we're taking fresh water whenever you see a blue line out into the suburbs and letting cities like Geneva, St. Charles, Batavia, Illinois have fresh water. If you also look here closely you'll see a red and a blue line this is a combination of a four-lane highway that also takes your sewage away. If you look over here, you'll see only a red line. Over here is the exact same configuration, except now I'm lining everything up in a square grid-like pattern, very much like the way Phoenix is designed. Here again is Chicago. These buildings will actually be out in Lake Michigan, a quarter of a mile out. There, there'll be a land that's never been used before, but then I'm going back to the same premise. You see the blue lines going out here, taking fresh water out of Lake Michigan everywhere. And instead of the rivers being polluted, we're taking the red, which again represents the sewage, and we're going to move the sewage out, out into the suburbs. Here's the new Chicago painting again. Of course, see, that was number 10. This is number 11. You can see the little pylons inside of Lake Michigan here. And then once again, you see dirty water going way out to Arizona and clean water. And all of this dirty water will go out into places like the desert and we'll scoop it out and re-fertilize land that's never ever been used before. If you look down here again, this is New Chicago, you can see that the buildings are a good quarter of a mile away from the shoreline. Every single one is out further, even going down to Gary over here. Then again, here's the blue. We're taking fresh water, moving it out to Aurora, Illinois, and then to St. Louis, Missouri. Here's the red. We're taking dirty water from the city of Chicago. It's similar to the Calsac Canal, but it's in between the two pylons and it's sealed and we're sending it way, way out to Oregon and places that need fertilizer. Every single one of these systems can be a dual system or a single system. Along the Fox Valley here, you'll see the dual system. There's red for polluted water and blue for fresh water. If you take a look back at this painting right here, you'll see how we have the Fox River and it meanders up and down, but today the Fox River is one of the most polluted rivers in the state of Illinois. We're going to take that pollution that the cities of St. Charles and Elgin and Geneva and North Aurora and Aurora are putting into the water and we're going to divert it and put it into our canal system. After about five years of this type of a system, the Fox River will again be clean, natural. You'll be able to drink the water right out of the river. If you take another look at the Chicago painting, this is very far in the future. We've eliminated people living in the suburbs in Oak Park and in Austin and in Tinley Park. All this will go back to nature. 
natural land. And of course, the 169 story pyramid buildings here, they're not little. They're not like the little 5,000 people that lived in those. These buildings will hold a half a million people a piece. Each one of these is, uh, would represent four or five million people. Back here in the suburbs again, these buildings here will hold about a quarter of a million people, every single one. This painting, just in Illinois, represents six million people living. The, the water is very, very much important, as we're going to explain to you in the up and coming videos, about how we need water to make the hydroponic systems work in the pyramids, and how we'll be cleaning up water. So please look forward to more videos and try to become a subscriber on YouTube videos. And I'm Greg Zanis.